Uh, Dave Clark is Head of Policy and Advocacy at uh, Positive Money. Afternoon to you, David. Hi, Eddie. So this will come as a relief probably to savers, right? Yeah, well, don't hold your breath if you're a saver. <laughs> will it, will it, will the the, the real question account. is, because it didn't last time, and I got annoyed because I my, the only person I know with any money is my mum. And when I go into the bank with her, it doesn't necessarily have to be passed on, does it? Absolutely not. So the interest rates went up by 0.25% last November. Um, many banks failed to pass on a commensurate rise. So, yeah, absolutely it's not necessarily good news for savers. Don't hold your breath to see your savings rate go up. Now, m m most of my listeners, I suppose, will be of an age where th they'll be interested in this. But p pensioners have been crying for a long time. You've got a few quid in the bank. It's rubbish, isn't it? it, it's, it, it just cut a hole in the mattress and stick it in there almost. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, we'll see a little benefit to savers from this move, and we will see a, a big cost to, to borrowers. Um, UK households are now spending on average £900 a year more than they're earning. Um, that means household debt is like the worst it's ever been. Um, so we could see that pushed over a thousand as a result of today's move, and it's really dangerous and unnecessary. The Bank of England wants to pre pretend that things are returning to normal for the UK economy, but there's nothing normal about the situation we're in. We've seen the worst decade for wage growth since the Industrial Revolution. Um, and as I say, household debt is the worst it's ever been. Yeah, we did a lot of uh, this about a year or so ago, and, uh, you know, people got bored with us that uh, debt was at that time about the same as it was 2007 and eight when we had the uh, uh, big crisis. Just crystallise for my listener how dangerous you think the rise in household debt is. I think it's a real worry. I think that we're in danger of repeating the same mistakes that uh, led to the 2008 crash. And I think that the you know the bank of england is too relaxed about this problem the uk economy faces these big challenges of record indebtedness stagnant productivity and we're too reliant on the rising value of property and financial assets um i think the bank of england raising interest rates is not going to help with any of those issues that so we need the government uh, to step in to work with the bank of england so that we can invest we can unleash the potential of the productive economy yeah but, but you know th th that's an ideology david and you could you could have that you know 15 years ago 20 years ago uh, and indeed five years ago it, it ain't going to happen because many of those 650 people who represent you and i uh, in there d are also uh, landlords i would suggest that might be part of it and so much of our economy and success is predicated on the housing market I think this is absolutely the problem that, um, yeah, the, the economy is just too reliant on property prices going up and up. And, you know, there's a lot of people who stand to benefit from that. But um, what we really need to get to do to get the economy back on a sustainable fo footing is to put money p back in people's pockets. And to do that, we need to invest. We need to boost productivity and boost wages. And it's really up to the government to take the lead on doing that. No, At the it, moment, it's, ab it's abdicating its responsibility. Well it, well, it may do. And we haven't, you and I, done well not to mention the word Brexit as of yet. But, I, you know, I, I know a few economists and they say where economies have interest rates that are, are below three or four percent, Actually, that's also incredibly bad because it's totally unrealistic. Yeah, I think um, it's not ideal to have interest rates remaining low for as long as they are. Um, what we've seen in the last 10 years is, is, is a continuation of what happened before the crash where um, too much bank lending has been going to the property market and that's increased demand for property and and therefore pushed up prices. I think what we need to do is rebalance our economy so that we're not so reliant on rising property prices when we're more, we focus more on investment in industry, in infrastructure, in public services, um, so that we can grow our economy in a more on a more sustainable footing. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this plays out. Maybe you and I will have a conversation uh, post March 29, 2019, to see how that plays out. Thank you so much uh, for your time. David Clark is head of policy and advocacy at the uh, 
uh, positive money, uh, giving his reaction to the uh, Bank of England raising, edging up their interest rates uh, from uh, 0.5 to 075 of 1%. It's the BBC Radio London. It's a quarter past six. Time to find out what's happening in the roads from Cassie.